welcome back to next gen blog and in this video i want to show you how to animate hands of 3d character in blender it's actually super easy to animate hands of 3d character in blender so without further delay let's get started and see how you can do this now to demonstrate this first i would like to import a 3d character so to do that go to file and now click on open now select the 3d character file and now click on open once again now the moment you click on open you're going to see this pop-up box so simply click on allow execution perfect now this is our 3d character and we will be animating the hands of this character now to start off you need to first click on this cloud rig tab and inside cloud rig you're going to find this section called settings and inside settings, you're going to find this subsection called FKIK switch. So expand this subsection. Now we will be working with left upper arm and right upper arm. So currently the values inside both left upper arm and right upper arm is 1. So decrease the value inside both left upper arm and right upper arm from 1 to 0. All right. Now let's get rid of this tab by pressing the letter N on the keyboard. And now what you need to do next is you need to click on this animation menu and this will open up this workspace. So what do we have here? On the right side, I have my 3D viewport. On the left side, I have my camera view and right at the bottom, I have the dope sheet. Now I don't require the dope sheet because I will be creating the animation in the timeline. So let me simply drag the timeline upwards like this. Perfect. Now, as you can see, we already have a bunch of different keyframes present in the timeline by default. So let's delete them. So press the letter A on the keyboard to select all the keyframes in the timeline. And now press the delete button on the keyboard to delete them. Now let's zoom in on our character. And what we are going to do next is we will activate the layer which contains the control points for the hand of the character. So to do that, click on this particular option that is object data properties and inside object data properties, you're going to find this section called bone collections and inside this section, you're going to find a bunch of different layers that contains control points that allow you to control different parts of the character. So the layer in which we are interested in is layer 2 because this layer has control points that will allow us to control the hand of the character. So currently as you can see, layer 2 is inactive. So activate it by clicking on this eye icon. Perfect. And as you can see, the moment I activated layer 2, a bunch of different control points appeared on the hand of the character. Now let's move the hand of the character. So first select a control point and now activate the rotate tool by pressing the letter R on the keyboard and now select an axis. So let's say I want to rotate the hand along the Y axis. So let me press the letter Y on the keyboard and now as you can see I can rotate the hand of the character along the y-axis. Similarly, you can also rotate the hand along the x-axis. So let me press the letter X on the keyboard. And now the x-axis is activated. And now as you can see, I can rotate the hand of the character along the x-axis. Similarly, you can also rotate the hand of the character along the Z axis. So simply press the letter Z on the keyboard and this will activate the Z axis. And now you can rotate the hand of the character along the Z axis as you can see on your screen. Perfect. So this is how you can move the hands of your 3D character. Now, another thing that I would like to show you is how you can move both the hands of the 3D character. Right now, we just selected 
a control point on one hand of the character and we moved it but you can also move both the hands of the character simultaneously and the way you do it is by activating the mirror option so right here you're going to find this x symbol and this x symbol actually represents the mirror option so click on it to activate it and now if i actually select a control point and if i activate the rotate tool by pressing the letter r and if i activate the y axis this time as you can see i am able to rotate both the hands of the character along the y axis simultaneously perfect so this is how you can actually move the hands of your 3d character now let's create a short animation and to create an animation you need to first of all press the letter a to select all the points which are there in your character and now press the letter i on the keyboard to activate sorry not to activate but to insert a keyframe in the timeline and as you can see the moment i pressed the letter i a keyframe has been inserted on the first frame now let me move the cursor and place it somewhere around let's say the 25th frame and now let me rotate the hands of my 3d character so let me select a control point like this remember that the mirror option is active and i've selected a control point on the right hand of the character now let me press the shift button and select the control point on the left hand of the character as well so i have selected two control points one on the right hand of the character and one on the left hand of the character and the mirror option is active and now press the letter r on the keyboard to activate the rotate tool and now press the letter y on the keyboard to activate the y axis and now let me rotate both the hand of the character like this perfect and i'm satisfied with the rotation that i've done so simply press enter on the keyboard and now once again press the letter i on the keyboard to insert a second keyframe on the 25th frame and so now if i actually play the animation for you perfect so let me get rid of the overlays and let me zoom out a little bit so i just created a very short animation where the character is kind of bringing both her hands down so this is how you can actually animate hands of a 3d character in blender do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel i will again see you in the next video till then thanks for watching